What's going on you guys? My name's Robson and today I'm going to be showing you how to obtain two mounts called the Ice Mammoth and the Grand Ice Mammoth in the World of Warcraft. These mounts are pretty cool looking mammoth mounts and you can see them featured on screen now. The reins of the Ice Mammoth can be purchased by the Sons of Hodir Quartermaster for 800 gold after earning revered reputation with their faction. The reins of the Grand Ice Mammoth can be purchased from the same Quartermaster for 8000 gold after earning exalted reputation with their faction. The normal Ice Mammoth can only be ridden by one player, while the Grand Ice Mammoth can hold up to three players, so you and two of your friends can ride around Azeroth together on the back of the Grand Ice Mammoth. According to the World of War graphs, only 8.2% of players own the Grand Ice Mammoth, making it a pretty rare and unique mount. The Sons of Hodir faction are located in Dun Niflheim in the Storm Peaks. Before you can begin gaining reputation with them though, you'll first need to unlock the faction. To do this, you'll need to complete a very long quest chain of about 25 total quests. The first quest in this quest chain is obtained from an NPC named Gretchen Fizzlespark in K3, and the quest is called They Took Our Men. After completing and turning in this quest, you'll have begun the chain that unlocks Sons of Hodir. It is a very linear quest line, and each time you complete a quest, you'll instantly be given the subsequent quest in the line. It took me about 2 hours to complete all 25 quests to unlock the faction, but some of these quests are actually very engaging and fun, so it's not too rough of a grind. Eventually, you'll be at the top of the Temple of Storms, and after completing one of the quests there, you'll unlock the Sons of Hodir faction, and instantly be given enough rep to earn Honored Reputation. At this point, you can choose to continue on with the quest line to continue gaining reputation, or you can stop questing here and use alternate methods to gain reputation with the faction. I personally chose to continue on with the quest line because I was really enjoying it and I wanted to see how the story ended. There are only about 15 more quests in the entire quest line, so by the time you've unlocked the faction you're already over halfway done, and if you choose to complete them all it will take you all the way to revered reputation. In addition to this, some of the daily quests for the Sons of Hodir faction only become available after the quest line is completed, so I'd recommend just grinding it out and finishing off the rest of the quest line. As I said, once you complete the quest line, you'll be at revered reputation with the Sons of Hodir faction. This is enough reputation to buy the Ice Mammoth mount, so if you want, you can now go to the Sons of Hodir quartermaster in Dun Niflheim and buy the reins of the Ice Mammoth for 800 gold. Check it out and ride it around. But if you want to get the Grand Ice Mammoth as well, you'll need to continue gaining reputation with the faction to earn Exalted rank. There are three ways to gain reputation with the Sons of Hodir after the quest line is completed. These include Daily Quests, Relics of Olduvar, and Everfrost Chips. First, we'll cover daily quests. There are six total daily quests that can be completed for the Sons of Hodir. Five of the six are unlocked as soon as you unlock the faction at Honored Reputation, and the sixth one becomes available once you hit Revered. All six daily quests can be started within Dun Niflheim, and none of them take more than five or ten minutes to complete. They're all very easy, so I won't explain each of them in detail, but again, you can start all six in Dun Niflheim, head out into the Storm Peaks to complete them all, and then head back to Dun Niflheim to turn them in. Completing all six of these daily quests awards you nearly 3,000 reputation, so if you do nothing but daily quests each day, you'll get from revered to exalted reputation in 8 days. Next up are Relics of Olduar. All of the mobs in Storm Peaks have about a 50% chance to drop an item called Relic of Olduar. Each time you collect 10 of these relics, you can bring them to the Sons of Hodir Quartermaster in Dun Niflheim and turn them in. You will earn 325 reputation each time you turn in 10 Relics of Olduar. The best place I've found to farm these relics is the Halls of Lightning Dungeon. This dungeon is located just east of the Olduar Raid entrance. Set your dungeon difficulty to normal, enter the instance, and kill everything. Every single boss and piece of trash has a good chance of dropping one or even multiple relics, so just kill and loot everything inside the dungeon. Once you've killed the final boss, leave the instance, reset your instances, and repeat. I averaged about 90 relics per run through the dungeon, which is over 3000 reputation per run. Running the dungeon just 10 times total should give you enough reputation to get from revered to exalted, and this can be done in about 1-2 to two hours depending on your speed and luck with drops. In my experiences, this is by far the fastest way to grind reputation with the Sons of Hodir. It's a bit tedious, but if you want to get the reputation as quickly as possible, just grind the dungeon over and over again and you'll be exalted in no time. The final way to earn reputation with the Sons of Hodir is by collecting Everfrost Chips. Scattered on the ground across the area circled on the map now are items called Everfrost Chips. Each time you pick one up, you can turn it into the NPC in Dun Niflheim for 325 reputation. These chips are rare spawns, and due to phasing issues, you sometimes need to get very close to their spawn location in order for them to appear on your screen, so they're very difficult to search for and find. For this reason, I'd recommend just ignoring this method and sticking to dailies and relics of Olduar to gain your reputation for the Sons of Hodir. 
If you do happen to come across one while questing though, be sure to pick it up as it's a free 325 reputation. It takes 21,000 total reputation to get from Revered to Exalted, and once you finally do reach Exalted, you can head back to the Sons of Hodir Quartermaster in Dunniphalem to purchase your Grand Ice Mammoth Mount for 8,000 gold. This mount is pretty expensive, but I really like the look of it, and the fact that three people can ride on it and that not that many people have this mount makes it that much cooler and more worth the gold in my opinion. That's pretty much all the info there is on the Ice Mammoth Mount and the Sons of Hodir. Make sure you leave a like or dislike on this video according to what you thought, and either way leave a comment with your feedback so I can make future guides more tailored to your feedback. You can check the link in the description to get to my mount guide playlist and learn how to get other cool mounts in World of Warcraft. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in another video.